Hi, this is Don from iRise, and in this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to the tools in iRise that allow you to create responsive widgets and designs. Now, these tools are actually pretty straightforward. If you click on a widget and go to the Settings tab, at the top, you'll see Layout, Width, and Position Settings. I'll cover each of these, and after, I'll talk about how you combine them to create the responsive behavior that you're looking for. So to demonstrate how the tools work, I've created a few pages with a set of sample widgets. We'll use these to demo each setting. But first, let me step back and quickly talk about the page level settings that you need for these responsive settings to work. If we go to the page settings under Align, you'll see Fit Width, Fit to Window, and the traditional left, right, and center settings. For the responsive settings to work, you need to either have the page set to Fit Width or Fit to Window. The way that Fit to Window works is that the settings of the widget will use the bottom of the browser as the reference point. So if I tell a widget that I always want it to be 20 pixels from the right and bottom corner, with Fit to Window set, it's always going to stick to 20 pixels of the right and bottom corner of the browser window, like you'd want a floating action button to behave, for example. The other option is you can set the page type to Fit Width. And what this is going to do is use the left and the right side of the browser as reference points for setting the widget position. But it's not going to use the bottom of the browser. Instead, it's going to use the bottom of your prototyping page as a reference for the bottom position. Now let's talk about the settings themselves. You've got layout, width, and position settings. For width and position, you can either use pixel values or you can set percentages. And this is a very important point to remember. Because in many instances, just changing your widget value to use percentages is going to be all you need. But we'll get back to that later. So let's look at the first example for layout. This container here is set to left top layout. This is the default, and essentially a widget set this way will behave in iRise as it always has. It uses the top left as a reference point for where it calculates its pixel placement. So this container is 70 pixels from the left edge and 86 pixels from the top. You'll see that if I adjust the left position, it's going to adjust the widget placement accordingly. The next option is right top, and it's going to use the right browser edge for positioning. And if we look, we see that it's always set to be 155 pixels from the right edge. The next examples are left bottom and right bottom. And you guessed it, they will use the bottom for placement and the right or left edge. And on this next page, I have examples of all the settings under this next option. You've got center top, center middle, and center bottom. And you've also got left middle and right middle. And if we preview the page, I think you'll get the idea. Now we'll get to the stretch settings. And these combine the top, middle, and bottom settings that we've already looked at, along with setting the widget to stretch with the browser window. So if we look at the first widget, set to stretch top, we'll see that we have a margin set to 70 pixels on the left and 154 on the right. The widget will always keep that margin size, and it's going to resize to do so. So let's jump to the next icon. And we've got left, center, and right stretch. So with these options, the height is going to react to the browser size, but the width is going to stay constant. Moving on to the last layout icon, this is stretch, stretch. And for this one, you set the margin size you want on all sides, and it's going to resize accordingly. So if I adjust the margins to 10 pixels all around, it's going to keep that regardless of the browser size. Now remember at the beginning of the video, I talked about the importance of setting percentages and how that's often an easy way to set responsive positioning. So to demo this, I'm going to duplicate that stretch stretch page that we just looked at. And I'm going to set the widget back to top left. But now I'm going to change the width and the height to be controlled by percentage instead of pixels. So we'll set this to 100%, both width and height. 
And if we preview, we'll see that it's resizing on each side, just like Stretch Stretch does. Now I know this at first might feel like a lot to take in, but I think you can see how once you start using percentages, you'll quickly understand all the possible uses for them and setting your widget properties is gonna be really intuitive. So now let's look at a few practical examples. I'll drop a floating action button onto this page and we'll set it to right bottom and set the margins to 40 pixels for right and bottom. Now if we preview that, we'll see that it sticks in the bottom corner. Here's another example. Here's a top menu bar and I've got a container with a blue background color and I've set the width to 100%. And so it's going to resize with the window. And all these text widgets on the right are set to right bottom. So they're going to adjust to the right size of the browser window. Which actually brings up a very important point. So if a widget is inside an iRise container, like these are here, the settings that we just looked at, they use the top left, right, and bottom edges of the container they're in not the browser window. So if I resize this container, those widgets on the right are gonna use the right edge of the container and adjust accordingly. As you can see here, this is actually really helpful. I'm gonna show you a few other examples to demonstrate why. So here on this page, I've got three containers with different background color set, and they're all wrapped within one large container. Let me add a border to that outside container so you can see it. So this outside container is set to top middle and the width is set to always be 98% of the browser window. And for these inside containers, these three cards, the first is set to left top, the second is set to center top, and the third is set to right top. And I've set each of them to have a width of 32%. So if we preview, you'll see that the outside container is staying at 98% of the browser window and the inside containers, they're resizing too. They're staying at that 32% I set. You'll also notice that the icons inside each card are staying centered and the text widgets are resizing as well. And I bet you can guess how. If we take a look, each icon is set to center top. So it's gonna stay centered within that container as it resizes. And each text widget is set to percentage instead of pixels. So to demonstrate the difference, if I reset that first text widget back to pixels and preview, we'll see that it stays at 345 pixels in size and doesn't resize, but the others are staying at 32% of the container size. So two more quick examples. On this page, I wanted this image on the right to stay 15 pixels from the right edge. And I want this text in the middle column to resize. So I set the image to right top, so it sticks to the right. So what I did was I used one large container for this middle section and I set it to top stretch. And then I put smaller containers inside of it and set their width to 100%. And then I just set the text widgets to 100%. So they're gonna resize to fit as that container resizes. And lastly, for this footer, I've used a container with a gray background and set it to 100% width. And I set this inside container, it holds all the content, to center center. So as that footer resizes, the content in the middle is always going to stay centered. So again, I know this seems like a lot of info, but it's actually fairly intuitive once you start using it. I wanted to make sure I covered all the basics for you so you could get started. If you have any questions, go ahead and contact us either through the site chat or send us an email at info at irise.com. As always, thanks for watching and take care.